far as rivalries go, these two Florida schools do not like each other one bit. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28. Watch the team. Watch the team. Watch the team. Yeah. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. The Seminoles have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win. On the pitch, look out, loose ball. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. from their own 29-yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Tackle made at the 33. That's a game of four. That brings us third and 10. They can't hear a thing down there. Takes it and he's tackled short. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 37. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Nice run to the left there. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Sheds one tackler up the middle for a nice game. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. He's taken down at the 48. Second and seven. Ball on the 48. After a decent pickup. Oh. 
Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 36-yard line. That's just a well-executed screen pass. They had the blockers in front, and they got it to him with room to run. From the 36-yard line, first down. Carroll gets the carry, tries to get around the corner. Good outside run there. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. From the 22-yard line, first down. They try the right side. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Good speed off the edge by the sophomore to come up and make the hit. This is the 10th play of this drive. Looking for his man, incomplete. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down around the 18-yard line. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Florida to kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Gators really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Got a man. They knocked it loose. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. They run it for the first, and he stops. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. Tackle made at the 23. Florida is making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's been a, it's a great start by this team, but I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Florida is up a field goal. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. Tackle.
tackle at about the 27 yard line. Throws in the middle. And down he goes at the 18 yard line. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up. And they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irving. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He makes his way out to about the 35. First and 10. Ball on their own 35. In your face. And he tackles him hard at the 44 yard line. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings up second and one. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of four yards. That makes it first and We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That'll bring up second and three. First down grab, tailback has it. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Brad, I love the way the defense is flying around right now and hitting people. This looked like an easy catch for the running back out of the backfield, but a big hit right here could really start to create some energy for the defense. Lateral's back, and he's got space. Inside the 10. Touchdown! Did you see how explosive he looked? He had his sights set on the end zone, and he was not going to be stopped. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7-6. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. From their own 28 yard line, second down. made at the 41-yard line. And the 
And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. No gain. That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That is a loss of four yards. That brings up third and 14. We played one. The Seminoles in front, 7 6. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. Oh, excellent punt. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Florida State up a point. Here's a run. Gets out to about the 31. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. From their own 48-yard line. First down. Makes it to the 41. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's the tailback. He's at the 30, and he hits him hard at the 24-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. It's first and 10. Ball on the 24-yard line. The halfback with a carry. Gets out to about the 21. Florida State with a one-point lead. Pitches, and he's got room. And they were lucky that one didn't go for more. They looked like they've never defended the option before. The tailback had a ton of running room there. Here's the eighth play of the series. He's under pressure. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. No one could break clear, so the QB decided to run it in. You've got to like it when your leader takes things into his own hands, especially down inside the 10. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. 
Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. They'll bring him down around the 28-yard line. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28. Slings it. The defender had it and then dropped it. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. The offense going to try to open this field up coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Quarterbacks just love this scenario. He had his man one on one on a corner route versus man coverage. And you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And they make the stop at the 37. From the 37-yard line, it's first down. Tailback with a catch, and up for the first. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. take another look at the play here and I'll be honest I couldn't tell if he made the catch or not and from our angle it was really hard to tell I think this one could go either way after review of the play the ruling on the field stands so the rulings upheld it's a good catch First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. This is the eighth play of this drive. his man and they take him down immediately it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker brought down around the three yard line that makes it so And they'll get him in the backfield. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Florida State is up by eight. And he's taken down right around the two-yard line. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. He 
It's second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Tackle at the three-yard line. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Gets to about the five-yard line. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. And this one is a beauty. Gets to about the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And he just gets rid of it. From the 44-yard line, second down. is talking to his quarterback after that quick three and out. He missed on all his passes and really seemed out of sync with his receivers. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. They get this one off and it's a beauty. And it goes into the end zone down for a touchback. Florida State's offense curtain maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now it's been running the football and it's working. Florida State holds an eight-point advantage. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks from their own 30-yard line. First down. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it second and six. He might not be able to get the pass off. And down he goes around the 45-yard line. First and 10. Ball on their own 45. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. They come out on an empty backfield. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 34-yard line. from the 34-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Caught out in the open. 
Tackle made right around the 24-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Florida State up by eight. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. He can't ask for much more than that. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap, and he threw it right out there. They'll drop him for a loss. Well, you think about receivers coming over the middle taking shots from the safety, but a runner who's still in the backfield? This guy just flies all over the field. Tenth play of the drive. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. He's scrambling. He's taken down around the 13-yard line. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Florida State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. up and they tack on three points they might just want to squib this one only a few seconds left here before halftime he just drills this one he makes it to the 18 yard line the last time this offense had the ball it was three and out it to the back and they hit him in the backfield so we've played two quarters FSU leads it 17-6 glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you gotta find Reese, these ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean. Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, try to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He sends this one deep. And he's tackled at the 21. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. run and he's brought down That's a That'll make it second and four. so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first he gets to about the 34 yard line That's a that makes it first and ten And 
he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds around the 35-yard line. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 35. Up the middle for a nice game. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. They come out in a five-wide set. He scrambles, runs with it, and he's got room. Decides to slide. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 13-yard line. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down right around the four-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and the field goal is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Gets to about the 17-yard line. The Seminoles continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Ready? Blue 45. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Call it again at two yards. That'll bring up third and four. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Call it again at four yards. That makes it fourth and inches. He really got a hold of that one. He's to the 40. He's tackled at the 42. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again.
Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Scrambling around. The ball pops free. Offense falls on it. Good thing they got the ball back. That fumble could have really cost them. So far, all the bounces have been going their way. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, you know the offense would like to generate more than they did on their last possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Nice run up the middle. That'll make it third and one. Navajo! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. Brought down around the 37-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Right, right, right. Four down, four down. Mike 15. Mike 15. He fights forward to about the 40. So we're looking at another third down here. And they get nice yardage on that run. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They lose three yards there. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. This is the eighth play of this drive. Quick pass going back to the fullback. And he's taken down at the 48. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They'll go ground. Tackle at about the 37 yard line. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Fires quickly to the tight end. 
Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play-action pass. The defense here bit on the fake just enough, allowing the quarterback to find an open target, and the result is a big gainer. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. It's hit out of bounds at about the seven yard line. And this is the 12th play of the drive. That brings up second and goal. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Well, it's third and goal, and they're 10 yards out. Here comes the pressure. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. The kick is up, and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And down he goes around the 38-yard line. First down. From their own 38 yard line. First down. He's got an opening. Gets out to around the 48. So, with one quarter remaining, Florida State leads 20 to 9. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They run it left. He's tackled at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Play fake, looking to run. No one opens, so he's going to run. Slides down to the ground. Quick strike, and he drops it. Second and ten. Ball on the 35-yard line. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Slings it. Got a man open. Touchdown. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. The coverage just couldn't keep up with him there. And he tacks on the extra point. 
Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll come back out with some confidence from having put through the field goal last time. quickly. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And he's tackled right away. The quick throw. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Knocked out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Taken down around the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, first down. Throws it in a hurry. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Six-yard line, second down. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he's hit immediately. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They come out on an empty backfield. They'll bring him down around the 17-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. The ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. 
And he tackles him hard at the 14-yard line. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. And he's level at the 11. That's a big run on the That makes it second and 10. And he's going to come up with a sack. So the sack makes this third and very long. And he's immediately tackled. Jackson's in the That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Benson takes a handoff. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Less than three minutes in the game. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 22. And they make the stop at about the 31. He guns it. And that one's fallen incomplete. And he's 
taken down at the 37 yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. As you can bet this defense made some adjustments on the sideline, though. I don't know if they can stop the passing attack, but they need to at least be able to slow it down. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Under a minute left in the game. That's a great tackle at the 40. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 40-yard line. Brought down right around the 40. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Seminoles take this one. It's 34-9. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.